today for the Bitcoin price. And yes, guys, you read the title right. Today for the Bitcoin price. And yes, guys, you read the title right. I am selling my Lamborghini to buy more Bitcoin right now. This is not clickbait. This is not a joke. I want to talk about why I am taking these measurements, what I am expecting for the Bitcoin price in the immediate short term. I will go into the charts and show you all my trades completely transparently, my next steps for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So make sure you watch this video until the very end. And guys, give me this feedback. If you like these unconventional videos, no matter where I am, no matter when I am, smash up the like button to a new all time high. And if you're new to the MM Crypto family, you are in for a treat if you are joining us. Go down below, press the subscription button, press the bell and press on all to join the MM Crypto family and predict the Bitcoin price movements in the immediate short term, in the midterm and in the long run. Let's talk about the Bitcoin price. I wanted to go quickly into the charts, show you my trading setup, show you my expectations for Bitcoin in the immediate short term. But then more importantly, talk about why I am selling my Lamborghini for more than half a million US dollars to buy even more Bitcoin. And you know I'm all in, right? So I want to talk about that. So make sure you watch this video. Now let's talk about the Bitcoin price. And we are talking here about the hourly candles. And right now you can see that the um, ascending triangle I was actually talking about earlier is right now breaking down on the hourly. Step number one, as always, let's check the volume. Yes, significant volume coming in. So from a volume perspective, this, this breakdown is actually con uh, confirmed. And if I am zooming in, a little bit here into the hourly candles, then you can see that Bitcoin is trying to go up for a confirmation. If this breakdown conf uh, confirms, well, and this has nothing to do with my sell yet of my of my car. I will talk about that a little bit later on. I will sh show you sh some shocking data as well. But then this breakdown could bring us all the way down to the 44,500 US dollar area, actually my wick of accumulation area where we are going to see the next support. This is unfolding right now. And well, I'm not saying that this bearish scenario is 100% coming into place, but I am hedging my bets right now. And if I'm going over here, before I show you my trades, of course, I, I'm, I was just telling you, I was taking out half of my Bitcoin chips, chips from the table at break even. And you can see it right here at break even. I took out like a 2 million US dollars in that trade. But at the same time, let me quickly go back. At the same time, I am selling my car, my last car to buy more Bitcoin. How does this add up? And what I am actually predicting for the Bitcoin price right now. Let's talk about that. So in the immediate short term, we are in for some chop. This is almost for sure. You can see here that um, yeah, Bitcoin is really tumbling around. And if I'm going over to the daily candle, so like I, I don't really have to do it. You just know it. Like since two months, Bitcoin is doing nothing but sideways slightly down. Why am I personally predicting in the mid run that Bitcoin is continuously going up, that this bull run is not over yet, even though, and you saw the previous video, even though we hit 11 years resistance, even though we are having this wake of accumulation pattern. Well, I think that Bitcoin is still due for a major um, pump towards the upside. Not today, not tomorrow, right? It is risky right now. That's why I'm taking half of the chips from the table. I want to quickly talk about my trades before I talk about selling my car and also why I'm doing that and what I'm actually expecting for Bitcoin. At positions right now, half of the chips from the table. It is in a profit right now, but I took the half of the chips uh, at break even from the table. So the profit would be higher, but I don't really care about that. I'm hedging my bets. This is one of the recent trades. My new, my old trade here, this is still open completely because my liquidation price is at 38,000. Right now, I'm having still more than 300,000 US dollars in this trade. By the way, guys, before I'm going into the actual breaking news here, of that video make sure you scroll down and you press the link in the pinned comment because you can click this link number one after your initial deposit you get 4520 us dollars for free after making your account making an account takes like 10 seconds after initial deposit you get 4520 us dollars combined for free at a 22x leverage whether long or short this is a 100,000. let me go back a 100,000 us dollar trade completely for free Use the link down below. If you never use the bonus link, what are you waiting for? Join the MM Crypto family in the pinned comment. And of course, I wanted to talk about my decision to sell my car here for half a million US dollars. And 
more than half a million US dollars. I'm taking a slight loss here, but it's still cheaper than I, uh, as if I would have rented it. And I bought this car actually when Bitcoin was at 56,000. So now, of course, if I were to buy back into Bitcoin immediately, I actually bought partially with US dollar tether. Anyways, if I were to buy back, back with Bitcoin, it was a net profit in Bitcoin. And why am I saying that? Even though this car doesn't make a significant portion of my net worth, every single cent counts, every single Satoshi counts for me. And why am I maximizing my Satoshi? Well, let me show you this, guys. Let me show you this. This is the M1 money stock on the, um, of, the, uh, of the US dollar, right? And it looks the same for every single country. It is going completely parabolic since the uh, C pandemic completely parabolic m2 money supply was also discontinued this is the new chart where i'm not where they are not giving us up-to-date uh, data here because you can just long, <laughs> i mean honestly guys it's all shady right but with that put aside m1 m2 m3 m0 all of that is pumping like crazy and as long as this is pumping you have almost a certainty that in the long run bitcoin will do well this is why I want to maximize my Satoshi. This is why every single Satoshi counts for me. And as long as the Federal Reserve and 84 central banks in the world are not stopping their actions, I am not going to change my strategy against the US dollar. And you know this old saying, don't bet against the Fed. The Fed is doing the same. The same thing since 1971 when the gold standard was temporarily taking away from the US dollar. This is not going to change until the monetary system is going to go down. So I am leaving Dubai. I'm not driving the car anyways. So I really thought it's a great way to stake even more sets. Realize some opportunity profits. I don't know how, how to call it really. And scale back into Bitcoin and buy even more Bitcoin. Even though, as I said, it's not very, very significant for me. But well, if you are, have the chance to buy something absolutely scarce, every single Satoshi counts. Let me know if you agree with me. Use the links down below. But more importantly, if you want to support us, the most important support is liking the video, making noise in the comment section. And the most important is sharing the video. If you want to spread some love among the MM Crypto family, go down below and share this video with your friends. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Look at the beautiful view here. This is the Burj Khalifa. I'm actually parking my car. Um, and it's like crazy so many people always when I'm starting from here people are taking out their phone and filming it's like always a very nice experience kids coming making photos with the car it's beautiful but when you can stack more Bitcoin why not let me know if you agree with that thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon at the next one of MM Crypto and as always guys as always bye bye